this is the day and age we're doing Zoom meetings. And in this video, I'm gonna help you be the best attendee you can be. Thanks for checking out the channel Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help managers become leaders and I do that with no nonsense sense, if that makes sense. So you're having your meetings on Zoom. whoop a doo what does it all mean, Basil? <laughs> what do we gotta do to make sure that you're a successful attendee, that you don't disrupt, that you are seen, heard, when you wanna be? Speaking of which, the first thing you wanna wanna do when you're attending a Zoom meeting, put your mic on mute, I know. Nobody wants to hear the dog barking in the background, the kids screaming, pulling at each other's hair. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. <laughs> My mess. Listen, we've all come to a time with 2020, the way it's been, we have to adapt. And those that are on a meeting with you, they should understand, yes, you're gonna have kids coming in, you're gonna have your spouse coming in the room, hopefully fully dressed, but let's do what we can to minimize the distractions for the other people in the meeting. And we're gonna start that by hitting the mute button. Now, when you do have the mic on, try to eliminate or minimize the amount of background noise. Shuffling of papers, clicking of your pen. Those things are annoying at the best of times, but now I'm sitting in my desk or I'm sitting at my office at home and I gotta hear you click, 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 or the shuffling of papers or chewing in the background again mute your mic when you can if you need to have it unmuted minimize the background noise you're not going to be able to eliminate it life is happening around you but let's work on what we can do this should go this should be <laughs> without saying don't excuse yourself from the meeting if you're doing your zoom meeting on your phone even if you think your video is off and you think that your mute, your mic is muted, don't take it to the bathroom, please. I mean, there's, there's thousands of videos of people doing foolish things thinking nobody was watching. Are you kidding me? Of course people are watching. And you haven't done this enough where you're thinking, oh yeah, make sure that my mic, my mic is muted and the video is off and it's all okay. It's all over the news, it's happening all the time. I don't want that to be you. Leave the phone, excuse yourself from the meeting, go to the bathroom, and then come back. All is good, you're not gonna be embarrassed. Now when you're getting on a Zoom call, let's pay a little bit of attention to where you're sitting. Um, you may be using your phone, you may be using your webcam. Try to position yourself so, so that the lighting is right. I, I've been working on my lighting, but that's different because I'm doing a YouTube video thing. But work on your lighting because you know what? Whether you agree or you disagree, you want to put your best foot forward or your best face forward. So make sure that you're sitting in front of a window or go to like the dollar store and buy those little round circular light clamps. I have one, one, two lights here. That's it. And it's something that it get, gets rid of the bags a little bit. See, not so bad. It lightens you up. It darkens the background. It just makes you more of a focal point. And try to have your camera so that it's eye level so you can see that I'm talking to you. And assuming we were on a meeting together, I would see that you're talking to me. If it happens to be too low, let's just do it like this. This looks a little bit like off. If it's too high, we're gonna really mess this up. Like you see how just having the angles right or wrong, like I could easily be sitting at my computer right now and talking like, I guess it doesn't look horrible <laughs> because my lighting's on point. Again, just try to get your lighting. Work on lighting first. Now we got this back, easy peasy. Here's the other thing. When you're speaking, as much as that you want to talk to the person you see on the screen, put your eyes to the camera. 
because when you're looking at the camera, that is what the other person is seeing. So it looks like you're making eye contact with them. This has probably been one of the hardest things that I've tried to learn to do and I think I'm getting better at, but looking at the camera, not at myself on the screen. Camera, screen, see the difference? Another thing you're gonna wanna do, maybe the whole meeting doesn't pertain to you, but try not to multitask. Because if you're multitasking, and I do this with watching videos and I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to cook dinner and I'm trying to listen to the kids and what they had to say, I can only do one at a time. So after school, priorities, my kids, and then dinner. And then I can focus on what it is that I'm trying to watch. Because if I've watched a YouTube video on how to do X, Y, and Z, most of it I haven't heard. So this is what's gonna happen to you when you're on a Zoom call and you're just trying, even if you have your screen blacked out and you're muted, you're gonna to want to pay attention. You're gonna to want to pretend that you're actually in the office, you're in the boardroom, you're at the meeting because you don't wanna be that fool that gets caught off guard. I wouldn't wanna be at least. I wanna know what's going on, who's responsible for what, what am I responsible for, when is it due, and so on and so forth. So just try to limit the multitasking. Even though you think you can get so much more done if you just doubled up, you're gonna put yourself at a disadvantage in my opinion. Another thing you wanna do as an attendee to a Zoom meeting is come prepared. What's the Zoom meeting for? Have some notes, have some questions, whatever it is. Don't 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 show up like <laughs> you're in grade 11 and you just <sighs> need to get this credit. I just gotta get through this course. Even if that's how you feel, come, you're a leader, you're a manager, or you're trying to get there because that's what this channel's about. So I'm assuming we've kind of met before, make an effort. So come prepared for a meeting. My final tip or point, however you wanna take it, the background. Listen, obviously the people on the meeting know that you're working at home. Your home is your home. Try to tidy it up. Don't have it looking like a disaster. Try to have it tidy. Try to keep the noise minimal, the distractions minimal. But these backgrounds that I'm seeing with like the moon rising behind you, those are cheese, okay? Let's keep it a little bit professional. That said, if your personality and is that or the type of work you do is part of that, that's your shtick, go for it. I do videos, not so much Zoom meetings, but I do videos and I usually come here to my office. It works for me. But I also have no problem going to my kitchen, going to my dining room, working with what I have because that's the relationship that I want us to have. You see me in my environment. I'm not going to have a imposed library behind me with thousand year old books that's not happening you're not gonna see that i and, and i wouldn't be fooling anybody my ear would be <laughs> molded into a book you wouldn't like it really messes things up in my opinion again if it's something that you do and that's your personality roll with it but for 95 percent of the people out there Clean your area, set yourself up, and just be real. Because that's what I feel people want to work with. People want to hear from real people. You may have been a subscriber to this channel because I try my best just to be real. I'm going to say it like I say it. No nonsense sense. Remember? In the description below, there's a link to sign up for my 10 leadership principles. It's something you might be interested in. And next, let's go to my Zoom meeting where we talk about hosting. I'm going to grab my coffee and I'll see you in a second.